What's up you guys, it's Giano! Today's super exciting because we got the invite for Fortnite Mobile! Yes! So that means I'm going to be playing it. All right, let's get started, you guys. Uh, I am playing on my iPad Pro, you guys. Big old, gigantic screen, iPad Pro. Really stoked about that purchase. That was a great purchase, and it's been very handy to have that device for many different things, including playing the new Fortnite beta. Now look at the top right, you guys, very closely. Look at the top right. Do you guys see that? It says we're not going to mix in with other players on different uh, platforms. It's only going to mix me with other mobile players. That's very handy, okay? I don't know how you change that or where you can mess with that, but I did notice that it makes it very clear in the top right who you're going to be in matchmaking with. All right. So I did speed up this clip. You guys can notice everything is a little bit faster. Uh, I just wanted to be able to, you know, get a large amount of footage into the video without making you guys, you know, spend your whole afternoon watching. So we did pack in an entire round. I did my very first round, you guys. My very first round in Fortnite. I did really well. I'm actually very impressed. And it's all because the controls are so intuitive. All right, you guys. Uh, I know everybody's been wondering what are the controls like in Fortnite Mobile. Everybody's been speculating and now we finally get to see all right you guys so we do have some fantastic controls they give a really really good um, in-game uh, it's kind of like a pop-up it doesn't occur very many times but you can make it come out from the menu and it is basically controls I'll put them up on the screen so you guys can see them but yeah those are the controls basically um, you have special controls where pretty much everything is just tap to select you tap to select pretty much everything there's a couple of auto moves you can auto run that's really handy um, you uh, there's not really anything else that automatically happens in fact I'm not even sure if you can can if you I think if you hold down on the screen you will automatically shoot and you will automatically farm other than that I'm not really sure that there's very many auto um, triggers so that's pretty interesting so here we go you guys we gotta pick somewhere to land if you just touch on the screen it drops your marker um, it, it just it's like so intuitive you guys pretty much everything is touch you touch your gun to select it you touch the building that you want to build to select it so you can you don't there's no longer like right tab over and you have to right tab like three times to get to the building that you want to build you just tap it and then you tap go so it's two taps to build a building it's actually a little bit faster than with a controller so it's very interesting how they made it more intuitive and how a touch screen actually is um, basically an improvement over a controller in some ways it's very fast too it's almost as fast as a controller the game itself does have a little bit of rendering and lag issues. You notice that the render distance, the distance that they actually let you view is much shorter. So everything looks kind of like blurry and weird um, at a long distance. And then once you get close, you get that fine detail that we're used to. And I don't think that this mobile version has quite as much detail as the uh, PC version that I'm playing. I just notice a little bit less quality on some of the textures, but it's not really that big of a deal. I did notice a tiny bit of game lag sometimes I'd be running around and uh, there'd be just a tiny bit of screen lag so um, you know I am playing on an iPad Pro the newest iPad Pro I bought it within the last like two months so I mean I have the very newest model it's one of the top of the line devices that you can get on uh, any tablet so uh, I must say it's it's for nice issue it's not my issue but it wasn't that big of an issue anyway so as far as the uh, gameplay review goes the quality is good I didn't really notice any significant issues that would prevent me from wanting to play it was was a little bit laggy every once in a while but I didn't get into very much action either now check this out you guys you actually don't have to wait the time to open chests chests just open automatically there's a number of things that open automatically if you run into a door it opens automatically you no longer have to touch it although you can touch it to close it so that's pretty interesting and um, I don't really use the auto run feature that much but I forgot to mention this you guys when you're dropping down um, when you're first getting off of the bus you can actually use the auto run feature to fly yourself over to where you're going so I actually put on the uh, glider and just use the auto feature to glide myself to where I wanted to go that was super handy so make sure you use that auto run feature especially when you first get off the bus all right you guys now you may have noticed I shot my shotgun a couple of times those were accidents so I touched my screen because I was trying to do something else and I ended up shooting so that was the one thing that 
that I thought was a little bit unintuitive and you kind of have to get used to it. Um, I would touch my screen to do something and then it wouldn't really touch my screen. What it would do is shoot my gun. So that was a little tricky, you guys. That was a little bit tricky. I did shoot a couple of times when I meant to jump. I jumped a couple of times when I meant to crouch or I crouched when I meant to jump. Little things there, but as I memorize the process, it will start to make more sense. Now, you guys, this is probably the most interesting part of the video. Has anybody ever seen that blue weapon? Please put in the comments if you've ever seen that blue weapon. I could not figure out what it did. You notice that next to my crouch button, I now have that hand button. And when I touch the hand button, I get, um, I basically, he, he would click it. All right, you guys, you can kind of hear him. He's clicking it. All right, I have no idea what that is. Like, I, I have no idea. Like, am I supposed to get some C4? It looks like a C4 clicker, but I don't know where I was supposed to pick up the C4 from. So I don't know, you guys. That was weird. If anybody knows what that is, please put it down in the comments. I've never seen that and I've never heard of it. And I'm wondering if it's new to Fortnite Mobile. So please put it in the comments if you know what that thing is. I swear it's a C4 detonator like in Battlefield, but you know, I don't know. So n now I'm like super confused. I never figured out how to use it the whole time, but I did carry it around just in case it became useful later on. All right, you guys, so I managed to get myself a trap, and it's a trap. All right, you guys, and uh, I was gonna, I'm gonna place the trap and, you know, basically get myself set up to hide in this house for a little bit, close the door so they can come in, you know. And uh, this is what I do, you guys. This is my camping strategy. I know I'm a camper, you know. Uh, campers don't have the best reputation in the mobile gaming world or in the gaming world in general. People generally don't like campers, but it is a great way to win, and uh, this strategy has got me a win. I actually got my very first solo win by camping, and as you'll see in this match, I make it almost to the very final uh, round of people who are trying to, you know, get that win. And uh, I was one of the people who made it into the very end because of camping. So, yeah. And obviously, once the storm gets close to me, I got to run. So I'm trying to outrun the storm now, trying to get ahead of it because uh, I had a pretty far distance to run. But, yeah, you guys, uh, the mobile controls, super easy. I was just running around the whole time. Everybody else has the same handicap that you have. They don't know the controls either. So I was in a firefight. Um, in a different match in between this match and when I ended up filming and um, I, People were like trying to build people are just standing there while I'm shooting them from a distance They can't find me. They can't figure out where I am I'm guessing they're on a much smaller device than I am so they can't really see that far So there was a lot of different things that I could tell were giving me a distinct advantage The number one thing was playing on a huge device you guys I gotta say make sure you're playing on a tablet make sure you're playing on a very large device it will make a difference. It was so hard to see people, um, you know, from a distance. And uh, even though I have a huge device, so I can imagine if you're playing on a little tiny iPhone 5 or something like that, you're gonna have a really hard time. So, you know, it's uh, it's up to you if you wanna play in that experience. I think it's fun. It's nice to have the opportunity to play in that experience. This is literally the highest quality game I have ever seen on a mobile, you guys. I've never seen 3D this high quality. I've never seen this good of functionality. I mean, you guys, this is the total mobile game changer. This thing is going to change the world of mobile gaming. I'm not kidding you guys. This is the game right here. This is a seriously big deal. There are no games that operate like this and have this quality of 3D and have all of the features that we have here, the complexity of the game, you know, and plus the rules of this game, the, you know, the, the last man standing aspect of it, there's no mobile game like that. So this is literally redefining the mobile experience right now. And it's a really big deal. So I cannot stress how much of a game changer this is. You guys, this game right here just changed the entire mobile world. All right, so that's a really big deal. Want to make sure you guys understand how big of a deal that is, and um, it's actually it's actually fun. You know what, you guys? It's fun to be part of something that is so new and that is so game changing, and it's just uh, I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing this game. It's actually gonna get me to pick up my my tablet a lot more often, so I can play on the couch and uh, you know just play while I'm watching TV and stuff like that. So it's a whole process to set up the game on my you know on my PC, and you guys know if you have a console too, it's the same thing. It's a whole process. Process. You know, sometimes it you know it takes you a really long time to get everything set up, and you're just like, man, you know, this is uh, this is, it's just like now I can't watch TV because I'm using my TV. So this takes it to the next level. You can finally sit, play with your iPad, you know, watch TV and play some Fortnite. I think it's a really big improvement for the game. All right, you guys, so I ended up getting a legendary scar right after I picked up a regular scar. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling like I'm set up for this match. I'm going to get back to some camping, and uh, you guys will note that I did skip some some 
scenes and uh, that was just for time and it was mostly time that I was camping or time that I was running really long distances and uh, yeah I tried to cut down the video length for you guys to try to respect your time because I know you guys have a lot of content that you want to watch there's probably a lot of other people doing videos too all right big shout out to everybody who got the mobile invite yeah mobile beta all right you guys so this is where we finally get some action in this match I'm gonna show you guys some shooting I'm gonna show you guys I get a kill all right so stick with me here uh, I know I do a lot of camping but we do have some action we made it down to the final eight which means that we are getting into smaller and smaller circles and we are just about to come up against other players there's no way to avoid it in this game so you can camp as long as you want but you have to finally get over there now I was trying to take some shots look how bad my shots were I was having a really hard time just getting like one shot off um, this guy's fighting somebody else so I'm taking some target practice I went ahead and let him go because I was like you know what it's not worth it to get in a firefight and give up my position I'm gonna try and camp this one out so just moving over here trying to grab some equipment along the way because I really didn't get to farm that much any ammo is good any extra bricks is good I'll take it now here is my first kill you guys I did get a couple of good hits on this guy I went with the aiming and then I tried to shoot without aiming all right because he was close enough I was trying to do you know some extra fires but I did need to aim in order to secure the kill all right you guys now this is a dumb move right here watch this I'm like dirt I'm behind this tree I'll be fine Wow Jono Wow okay so really good match I was doing great right up until that moment and I stood still look he got me with a hunting rifle you guys he actually Actually got me with a hunting rifle can you believe that I think he got me with a hunting rifle anyway I was almost dead so he could have killed me with any hit from anything but there you go you guys uh, I made fifth in my first ever Fortnite mobile round and I am in the beta so if you guys do want to get one of my beta invites you have to like and comment this video and make sure you are subscribed I am going to pick one random person to get a uh, to get one of my invites to get the Fortnite mobile beta it could be you but you have to like you you have to subscribe and you have to comment this video and I put it at the very end of the video so the people who actually watch my videos are going to get it all right you guys so big shout out to everybody who watches the whole video thank you everybody for watching thank you to my amazing subscribers and peace